You find me here this evening at the press launch of the new Gran Turismo game, Gran Turismo Sport, which will be coming to European shops on November 16th. We have seen an incredible cooperation between Polyphony, the creators of Gran Turismo, and the automotive industry. Previously, the Nissan GTRs had its interior binnacles and instruments designed by Polyphony. And in addition to that, we are here surrounded by some of the Gran Turismo vision concepts, where manufacturers from all across the world have made concept cars that not only feature in the game, but have actually got physical presences. These physical models also represent some massive leap forwards in design. But today, the real headline for us is the cooperation between Gran Turismo and the FIA. Now, there has been real interaction between Gran Turismo and Motorsport previously in the GT Academy. Jan Maldenbauer, as its most famous graduate, is now a professional racing driver racing at Le Mans. Now, in addition to that, they are going to expand that relationship with an official tie-in with the FIA. What that means is that your progress through the game in Gran Turismo can now be recognized by the international racing body. Now, this will translate in you being able to get an actual racing license that works in the real world. We're yet to see how that will actually work, but the idea is mind-blowing. What this could potentially mean is the democratization of motorsport. Motorsport has been an elitist endeavor since it very first started. The sheer cost of it means that for the vast majority of people, it is completely out of touch. But now, with the FIA working with Gran Turismo, there is a real opportunity for motorsport to become accessible to millions of people. Your progression up through the game will not just look at racing skills, but things like track etiquette, making you not just a better racer, but a better real-world racer. This step forward is incredibly important. Motorsport has been out of the reach for almost everyone since it was very first created, but now there's an actual opportunity for people like you and I to jump on a PlayStation and gain the skills that will get us on the first ladder of genuine motorsport. They want to bridge the gap between the console and the track, and I am incredibly excited about what that can entail. As I said, the game doesn't come out until November 16th, so there's some time for us to figure out exactly how this collaboration is going to work and in some countries the connection between the real world and the virtual world will differ the United Kingdom I'm glad to say is very much part of this collaboration so we are incredibly excited to see what kind of progress we can make in the real world just by getting better at Gran Turismo the game itself is an incremental progress on Gran Turismo 6 and it's can you believe the 13th iteration of the game in total you could say that the actual progress is small in terms of driving dynamics and design and graphics but this tie-in with the FIA is actually a huge leap forward. In no other sports can video games actually help you get better at the real-world equivalent, whereas here with motorsports we have an actual opportunity to progress our skills within the console world. I've had an exceptionally brief go on the game myself here today, and it's a Gran Turismo game. It looks and it feels and it plays exceptionally well. But this extra ability to really get better at real racing is what's got me really excited.